Hey guys, Lewis Cahill from Gink and Gasoline. I'm here at IFTD 2016. I'm in the Rio booth with Simon Godsworth. Simon, good to see you, buddy. Lewis, good to see you, mate. Always. Congratulations, man. Four awards tonight. Swept the fly line category. Everything awesome. you entered. I, it was. So outstanding. Somehow we got lucky and had some good products. I imagine you got lucky by working very hard. The team worked really hard. <laughs> we have a great team. You know that. Well, that yes, team. I do. And that's awesome. Well rewarded. Very happy. So one of the cool things that you won for that I'm kind of excited about is the winter redfish line. Yeah. I do some red, some red fishing down in Louisiana in the winter. It yeah, is do. brutally cold. Yeah. You freeze down there and your line is always a problem. So tell us what you've done here to make this guy work. This is actually a really cool line. I mean, the, the best part about this line was that we got to spend a whole week testing it. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so that's that awesome. terrible. Yeah. Went down there in December last year, as cold as it could be. Wanted to have it in the coolest conditions. And you know, that winter red, you got some big bulls. Yep. Hopefully, targeting big bulls. Um, and you're fishing some large flies. Yep. You got some murky water. There's a lot of real close range casting because you're not seeing fish because of murky water, the mm -hmm. green sky. And so, one of the first objectives of the line is to make sure it loads up a real short range. So, you can make a cast at 10 feet because that's mm -hmm. the first time you see that big bull. Uh, or you can make a, sh a shot at 20 25 feet because you can actually see something suns come out. So that's the first thing about it. It's got a very powerful, aggressive head that loads up at short range. Um, and the second thing is we're throwing some large flies. I was trying to fish some poppers down there, but they weren't really working. The fish were just turned off that. Mm -hmm. We were fishing some large mullet patterns and baitfish patterns. And so you need big flies. Those things are a challenge to throw. So they're hard to throw. Yeah. So we shoved yeah. a whole pile of weight at the front end and, and in, in the answer of throwing a big fly. So the simplest thing about the design is although it's called a winter red fish line, it's designed not because of the condition so much, but the fact that the line's designed to carry the flies. The flies that, that you have to have to fish Perfect. those yeah. conditions, right? Yeah. So that's yeah. the winter red fish line, and that, that seemed to strike an accord with the judges and the people here. They like the idea, and it won. Everybody likes red fish. Everybody likes yeah. big red fish, right? Oh man, you got to have the tools the, to do it's it. The fish of the month at the moment. The red fish, it's awesome. <laughs> know, awesome, love awesome. it. And uh, you also won for your knots DVD. Yeah. How about That's that? awesome. I, I mean, I've watched these, and I assume now that these are the same videos that I have seen. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. And they're it's amalgamation. They are phenomenal. You do such Thank a great. You. you do most of these. You do all these. Personally? Zach and I do them. Zach uh, and you do them. Uh, yeah. We do probably fifty-fifty. Maybe I do a couple more than Zach. But, right on. Uh, so yeah, they're, 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 they're the videos we have on our YouTube and Vimeo channels, and we had so many people email and say, "I love the videos and, and those short things, and, and can we buy it? Can we get it as a as a one right. set?" So yeah, keep it in your library, right. give it as work. a gift, great give gift item. Gift. Yep, it's twenty bucks for, a, and there's twenty nine knots on there. Twenty nine knots. Yep. So you got all the knots that you can ever imagine fly fishing. I don't think I can name twenty nine knots. I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I did a lot of research to get the knots on that. Um, but there's cool, cool, there's a wind knot in there. So <laughs> just in case you want to tie a wind knot. Excellent, excellent. Uh, but what, what Who I, does that, you or Zach? Uh, I do that one. <laughs> Very good. Deliberately, of course. Yeah, um, that's awesome. But what I like about this DVD, and if, if people haven't seen the knots that are on the channel, mm -hmm. what I like about it is the way is every knot's tested. You know, right. in a lab with exactly the same material, so mm -hmm. you can see how strong that knot is. Exactly. So you think that knot's 100%, because a lot of people say, this is 100% knot. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not. You know, the bimini is. It's the only knot we tested that's 100%, so that part is true, that's not a myth. <laughs> But other knots break at 90%, 92%, 80%, 70%, 60%. The wind knot was broken at 45%. So it shows how bad a wind knot is. So right, it's pretty yeah. cool. Even that part's pretty cool to watch. So that's that one of it. the things I like about it is they're not just quick in and out videos of here's how you tie the knot. You guys really go in depth in it. Yeah. And you talk about it and you show some technique. And it, yeah. it's really helpful, especially for beginning anglers. And let's face it, none of us know 29 knots. Or well, you do. <laughs> I don't. But I don't. I've got 27 of them. <laughs> right? But yeah, that's, that's a great product. Awesome, so, yeah. man. Congratulations again on awesome. your awards. Great so job. Stoked by it. I'll bet you are. That's okay, awesome. I'm drink it's, tonight. it's well deserved. <laughs> right on. Thanks, guys. Stay tuned to Geek and Gasoline for more from IFTD 2016. Yeah. You like that? Sweet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, cool. It's awesome.